and welcome back everybody to another beautiful day here on Squirt's Earth. So I've made some progress. I've built our base out a little bit. What I decided to go with is kind of a town thing. So like I separated it out. Um, as you can see here, so this is the workshop. I got this over here. This is our, our animal breeding area, like big breeding area. These are our stables so far. And then we have the, the house where we keep like our artifacts, our good gear and stuff like that, trophies. Um, it might expand. Uh, I didn't go as big as we did in the other place because Adobe is hard to get. No, okay, it's not hard to get, but it's extremely time consuming. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't go as far. So I still have some stuff to do. You see, I have floating shit everywhere, and it's a, it's a mess. Um, but there was enough rock here to clear everything out. I mean, shit. I think the Dodic still has 20,000 sand in it. But today, we're going to go tame a Rex. That's the only reason I got on uh, to record today. Uh, I wasn't actually going to. I built this yesterday. Today is Saturday. But uh, there is a Rex, a max level Rex, up by our oil rigs that we put up and I'm going to bring this horse and we're going to try to tame it. I think that that would be a, a good move on us. I also got some dung beetles this yesterday. Um, I don't know if I showed those yet or not. Oh yeah, I started in here. Yeah. So I got some dung beetles. Uh, I've been putting poop in them. Trying to get our crops started up. We do got some started. I just put those in just now, but uh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to head over to our oil fields and then we're going to, Go see if we can get ourselves a new Rex. Uh, I should probably bring him. Okay, I made some cryopods too, which is nice because what happens uh, in here is there is a drop that drops right in our base, right behind the the pen there. So I can make all the cryopods we want, just like at the old base, which is kind of nice, or at the old uh, map. But yeah, I'm going to... Head out. Hopefully nothing here gets killed, but stuff is still spawning in here for some reason. You and I have foundations, but I got these. I tamed these guys yesterday. I think you were here for one of them, and the other one you weren't. Um, because if I'm using this horse, everything I everything I try to kill, it uh, it gets knocked out. So I just can't help but tame it, you know? So yeah. Let's uh, head up over to the oil fields, though, and see what we can find. Gotta be careful in this area. There are micro raptors everywhere mixed with bad things. So I gotta be extra cautious. I hope I'm going the right way. Oh, it's got. I can't remember now. Crap. Yeah, this is it. We're gonna get metal over here too. This guy's got a decent amount of weight. 18 hundo. And it's pretty beastly. Now the Rex is over here. We're gonna grab oil over here. But it ran down when I was uh, collecting metal. So it was up over here on the side. But it walked down over down the ledge here. This was uh, yesterday. But oh, there's still, it's still right here. What level is it? Yeah, two, max level. Yeah, let's get this guy though. Get his attention. Oh, I wonder if we can knock him out. Actually, I probably will. Let's try not to get the attention of the Rex yet. Oh, too bad. Nope, because he's going to go for the Thyla, which I'm going for. We'll see what we can do here. Let's see if we can knock them both out. This horse is actually really nice for knocking stuff out. Um, but this Rex is chomping my ass. Oh, God. I'm out of stam. Oh, it's knocked out. That thing is. Let's see if we can knock him out. Without being killed. I get Stan back here. I'm sure it's going to take quite a few hits, but I'm a little worried he might die. We need this for the boss fight, so we really don't want to blow this. Um... Start putting darts into him. Oh, 
a little bit here. Because he's going to end up dying. This is what I was kind of worried about. I tamed another one of those guys too that I knocked out. Mainly because it was all black. So I wanted to breed it into ours. Actually, let's see if we can get him to heal by attacking this guy. That actually might work out. Okay, now, now are they fighting each other or no? Dip, dive, dip, dip, and dip. No, they're just fighting me. And I just did a bad move getting into a corner there. I need him to stop and eat something. Uh, we might leave and come back. We should heal up then. Because he is definitely going to die. Didn't even do a lot of damage to him. Oh, he's fighting him now. Uh-oh. Well, let's help the Rex. I don't know what level this thing was. Eat him. Dumbass? Really? You're not going to eat him? You're just going to sit there and let him go to waste? They always eat him. Well, they're not this time. I need him to eat this food. Well, I'm going to do this chase around a little bit. I'll probably end up leaving, but we'll be back. Okay, he's on the run now, which is a good thing. I think. Um, yeah, I had to leave and come back a little bit and heal my guy too a little bit. These things just the 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 herbies just heal really slow if you don't have certain stuff like those veggie cakes, which we definitely do not have. I don't even know if we can get them on this map. You need sap. I don't know where you get sap on this map. I don't know how many hits he's going to need. I'd rather him go down over here. Right where I can see him and where we can gather at the same time. Like gather metal and stuff. Hopefully he goes down soon. Crap. Wasted that. Come on, buddy. Let's go. I don't want to hit you a whole bunch more times. He hit me? Oh, he is because of his feet. Come on, big guy. I mean, you know you want to go down. I know you do. Oh, shit. Okay, well, let's lead him out of here. You gotta be kidding me. Like, that's exactly what we don't want. These rock monsters are really annoying. I run into them quite often. Like, more often than you would think. And the Rex is running all the way down here by all the bad stuff. Oh, no. Finally. Jesus. Okay. No, no! You stupid... Dumb ass f your boa. Get the f*** out of here. Just messed up my team. 99%. How come I can't get it? Oh. Let's get out our other guy anyways. We'll be back. Okay, we got our boy down over there. And I'm just gathering some metal while we wait for him to, to uh, aim up here. It'll be a while. I'm going to have to go get more meat, probably. Um, because that prime's going to go bad as soon as 
inventory right now, I'm guessing. But yeah, I'm going to keep doing this and hopefully we're going to have a decent Rex. Uh, the first that we need of two to start preparing for our boss. The the Equus is going to be a big help for knocking stuff out um, for us. That actually changes the game. I, I didn't expect that big of a change. Uh, I just wish we had the saddle. I, I meant to bring a saddle, honestly, from the other map. But I didn't do it. I totally forgot. It's dead now because I put it in the obelisk and forgot about it. But it was an ascended one we got. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find one. Um, I don't know. I've been looking, but I haven't found crap yet. We're also going to start doing some caves here soon. But I think I need a good cave creature, and I'm thinking a Thyla. So we're going to start looking for Thylas as well with uh, this guy. We might even do that today, actually. Um, just so we can start spearheading this, because I want to get to Aberration, because I love Aberration. I've been looking forward to it since we started the series. That is the one thing I look forward to. The map I love more than any other map by such a huge margin is not even freaking close. So yeah, uh, I'm going to team this guy up, and uh, we'll be back. There's a 196. kind of want to tame him, too. Even though they're really slow to tame. It might be a good thing to get. We'll see here. I'm just going to knock it out just for the hell of it. I mean, I keep taming these things. Yeah, look at that. There we go. I keep taming them, even though it's totally unnecessary. But we add it to the list, boys. Oh, never mind. Okay, our Rex just finished up. I'm trying to walk back. I have a whole bunch of other stuff I knocked out. I knocked over an Anki. I knocked out a Deoden. Uh, they're, they're not good, both of them. But I'm going to tame the Anki anyways. And then we'll leave him up here for metal gathering. But uh, I'm still going to wait for this guy. Because I kind of want him. I don't know why, but I do. So I'm going to get the Rex into a cryo thing. And uh, I'm going to wait up for the... I'm, I'm going to have to wait for the Anki. Anki's going to be a very long tame, so... Uh, we'll be back in a little bit. There's a 175. We're going for him. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to pass that up. We just got to try to get all these guys out of the way. And then I'll have to, like, cook some meat here. I'll just get a campfire going. Oh, no, no, don't eat my food. Don't eat my thing. Go down, big guy. I always tend to hit these. Oh, shit, I hit him. Yeah, well, I knew that was going to happen anyways. Come on, game. This guy's got no stam. I'm going to get your butt. I'm still going to knock you out. Yeah, we'll name him too. Why not add him to the list? Okay, well, I'm going to get a campfire started and cook some food up for this guy. Yeah, all this stuff's taking a while. Oh, our saber tooth just finished. So we got a saber tooth. I got another thorny dragon. Level 203 that was over there. The carnal we're just going to leave here to protect our oil things. I don't know what type of... uh. Um, what gender I have at home for the saber tooth, but I'm hoping it's a female. It's unlikely, but we've gotten lucky a couple of times. Oh, I wanted to check something too. I'm going to see, can't you harvest these? Oh, no, you can't. Okay, I thought you could. Oh, these ones you can. Okay. And you get salt. If I could find some sulfur, that'd be good. I'd make some preserving salt. This Keeping these guys fed is a problem. I have to keep cooking meat. I've cooked 60 meat already on this freaking thing. A prime meat. Which is a pain. But yeah, we're going to wait around for these guys and uh, we'll be back. There's a 161 right down there. That I think we're going to go for. Get him as well. Okay, that thyla just finished up. The last one. All the thylas are done. Um, right as it was done, this drop started coming down, so I'm going to wait for this. Um, but yeah, that took a very, very, very long time. 
hopefully uh they're worth it it should be but uh yeah i'll see you guys back at base or actually i'll see when i get this drop down here so these are our two first little babies that we just got from our two breeds of cats i'm not gonna go crazy on breeding today i'm just gonna get um just get them going a little bit i don't have enough meat to get them really going um we're still pretty early game so but here's our rex too and what the hell's going on oh god something else went in here oh this stuff still gets in here i don't know how um our guy's pretty good he's got almost 10k health 366 that's not bad for a starter um yeah so i'm gonna get him a saddle made up though let's go over to the workshop here and uh see if we can make up a rex saddle and we need a thylacolio saddle oh, i gotta learn that so rex i already know i dealt with thyla so how much was that i gotta be really careful with my metal yeah because i really want us to get a forge this is big enough right here for a forge so that's what will be here after we get enough metal we're almost there actually we're probably getting pretty close Oh, that drops back. Okay, so now at least he's got some protection. Those dodics, I don't care about. I keep, That's all stuff I've tamed from the stupid Equus. Let's see what we got out here, though. Oh, there's a wolf. Crap, all garbage. Worthless. We had a little pink guy come out. That's what we're going to use. And I'm going to name it Pinky. Because I can. And then we got these two for our favorite teeth. They're both the same, basically, in stats. Um, these, I, I didn't really look at their stats. They're okay-ish. Not really. 5, 1, 3, 2. This one's a little better. So, yeah. Pretty happy with that. Let's wait till they grow up, and then we'll take out the Thyla. Okay, our guy's all grown up now. Since we need chitin so we can make some menting paste, I figure let's head out to the desert. Get some uh, mantises killed. And we can level him up at the same time. I'll just see how he does. Or she. He. She. I think she'll do pretty good. I mean, I just gotta be careful. Oh yeah, oh yeah she does great damage. I mean, we just push for this right off the start. This is only, you know, one. I don't even know what the mutation is in. We definitely need chitin and and, ch and yeah and keratin super bad for uh so that we can do our forge because I need 141 more cementing paste, a hundred more metal or something like that, and I can't remember what else. But I'm close. We're awfully close to getting the forge. So I fear this is perfect timing. Get this guy out there and. Get her all warmed up. Oh, I was, forgot. I was going to check if I had a saddle for her. For some reason, I thought I got a saddle. It might have been a diet, dire bear saddle, though. Yeah, it definitely could have been a dire bear. I can't remember. I was out here already once today, or yesterday, um, getting mantises. But it is super dangerous out there because there's micro raptors too at the same time with like death worms and stuff i mean it's a bad combination am i even going the right way kinda the anky we were taming ended up dying which kind of sucks but uh hopefully this guy won't and we're, we're actually progressing pretty good. I'm happy, too, because then we can get on to uh, Aberration if we can beat the boss. I mean, we should be able to. I've done it before. This was a very long time ago, but... And I was also in a tribe, once again, which I think makes a big difference, man. Holy crap. Come on. 
These things are so tanky, dude. These uh, pigs. It's crazy. They are just tanky. I know what else we could try to get. I don't know if I could. Oh, here. I wonder if we could get uh, Mantis. As absurd as the deathworms are, I see their purpose. They're a natural barrier. If this whole place is a space station posing as a real ecosystem, then it needs to keep the wildlife and humans inside it contained in a way that appears natural. The island accomplished that by simply being an island. And the desert does it via the deathworms. Granted, a large population of predators with ludicrous kilocalorie needs would never last long in a place as devoid of prey. But as this is an artificial environment, the station can feed or replace the death worms as needed. It's a little convoluted, but it makes sense. I wish they would make it louder. It was super hard to hear them. I just watched a video from that Ned guy. Oh God, Michael Rapper. That Ned guy again. And uh, he, he tells the entire stories of the game. It's really good, great. It's, he did a fantastic job on it. I mean, the amount of work you had to have put into it would be, is just astronomical. Oh God. I mean, it's crazy how good it is. I was still thinking I might end up doing wyverns. I don't know. The hell? What level is this guy? He's pretty high level. I want to watch out for those sand things because I've never... I don't know what they do. Holy shit, what level is this thing? Good God. Holy shit. It was only at 133. Yeah, those sand things. I'm guessing they knock you off your mount. Um, everything that has to do with our conditions mount knocks you off your mount. And now I got, what, a permanent glitch now? I'm gonna have to heal my guy up, too. Yeah, he tells the story with, like, the mantises attacking the, the, the people of the original civ civilization that was here. Um, you know, that buried place. Um, we'll probably go past it, but it's just, if you have time to watch it, it's, I can't remember his name. It's Ned something, but it's just absolutely fantastic. I'm going to have to quit. Um, I'm going to have to heal this guy. So we'll, I'm going to heal him up. We'll be right back. We got to stop healing up. Um, yeah, this is taking way too long. And there's a storm coming. I got to find a place to hide. Like one of those uh, villages or something would be fine. That's where I hit last time. Oh, man. I think it's a sandstorm, too. I think that's what that means. I, I can never remember. I don't want to miss these guys, though. Because this is what we're here for. Come on. Need a place to hide. Is there uh drops like out here? I wonder if there is. I can't remember. Oh crap. I don't know if I think that we might be in big trouble here. Should have gone towards the mountains, but there's dragons over there or wyverns over there. I can see the city. I can get there, I should be safe. I have my tent on me, so. Oh, that's not the city. Shoot. That's not it either. Uh, crap. I'll see you guys there, though. Yeah, this is exactly where I went last time. Right in here. And then I can heal up my guy, too. That noise, I'm gonna have to log out, actually. We're just waiting out the storm still. I sat out there and healed up Pinky while uh, we were sitting there. I did just realize though I'm out of water. 
I thought maybe I had more water on my Draboa, but I don't. Or I did have a water jar, but it's empty. So that's a problem. I mean, we still have a lot of water left, but still. But, uh, hope this thing hurries up. Or is it over? Oh, perfect. Oh, never mind. Lied. It was counting me being in here. Even out front of it. Okay, well, that's cool. How far can I go? Sweet. I've now created a, a point where this is all protected throughout this area. Nice. But uh, we'll be back. Okay, it looks like the storm's finally over. Yeah, okay. Guess let's see if there's any uh, explorer nodes around here. Sure there is. I also wanted to check out something. I know there's one in the arena somewhere. Isn't like there an entrance to a cave? And like, but this is the video. Oh, and I looked up the guy's name. It's Nettie the Noodle. Um, it tells you about this village and everything here. Is it this one or is it the one on the east side? I, I don't remember. Um, but it's... I'm shocked that that video doesn't have millions of views, honestly. It's so well done. Like, he acted it out with other people and stuff. It's just amazing. So if you have a chance to check him out, I definitely would. I mean, it's highly, highly recommended. Um, I, I, it's just I'm blown away that he does not have... But that those, that those lore videos don't have millions of views. They're that good. But I'm also more of a lore guy. Some people just aren't into lore. Guess let's check over on this one. Oh, there's some mantis. Let's kill them. Well, I don't want to have to heal again. Oh, there is a drop. So there's drops out here. I thought there was. I thought maybe I was just thinking of Ragnarok. We're getting polymer too, which is great. Um... I'm just going to jump off really quick and grab it. Hopefully there's not like something bad. Crossbow, that's not bad. Scuba mask we won't use. Uh, let's see if there's any uh, things over here. Is that something? No, it's just a rock. Yeah, the, the, but, but the video is so good that I'm, I'm contemplating watching it again. Like, all of them. It's that good. I really, I really hope some people here watch it but uh, let's go check out the arena really quick because i want to see something something i don't remember for some reason oh here's some of those guys i don't know what they do there's the green box that i want oh here's one i must say nothing reminds a man of his own mortality quite like a desolate wasteland as a strapping young lad, I could have survived alone in this desert for years. Why, on one occasion, I fought off a Bengal tiger with naught but an empty flask and my favorite pipe. With this makeshift spear, the beasts of this land would never have a prayer. Yet in my old age, I can feel this damnable sun sapping my strength with every minute I spend under its unforgiving gaze. Each day I cover less ground than the day before. I must find civilizations, no matter how primitive. Among the most mysterious of all fighting creatures, much of what is known about them exists in legends which have been told through generations. These myths have often changed with the passing of time, but one constant is... I don't want to mess with those same things. I don't know what they do. I've never seen a phoenix before. Clearly they exist, but I've never seen one. Seem to initiate the rise of the phoenix, while the end of this so-called superheat precipitated the creature's reversion into ashes. While the phoenix seems ambivalent to most wildlife, see what else we got. Kind of curious if there's any more of those drops. Attempting to pacify a phoenix is quite literally playing with fire. The phoenix must be continually set up in order to be tamed. I've seen many times of ash in the attempt. Let's see if we can get these guys' After attention. Pacified, the phoenix will regain its vitality when it is aflame. 
Although its compact size Perfect. prevents the phoenix from being ridden, its aggressive and flaming has proved to be invaluable. But it can quickly roast a tasty cooked meat and find all oil on the side of the animal. I got 50 chitin from him. That's better. Okay, let's head back to the house. I guess we got enough stuff for now. We're getting pretty uh, weighed down. It's junk. Um, I'll see you guys back at house. There's a thing here. I'm gonna bring you back. Now this is... I think this is the guy. I can't remember his name. It's the guy that uh ends up falling in love with the, the Egyptian girl. Egyptian, is she? Something like that. But uh, she's very uh she comes from the past. Here's that red thing that I've been wanting to check out since we're over in this Oh god. Over in this area. I want to see what this says. How do you get it to do it? I thought you'd get it to say stuff. Ah. Maybe you have to hit a button. I can't remember. I guess that's that one. I don't know. There's only a couple on here. I think there's two or three of them or something. Oh, hold on. We got another thing here. Nazreen is quite different from her husband. She's a timid little flower of horn. Or rather, she would be if she were not many months pregnant. I'm still undecided as to whether my timing is impeccable or unfortunate. A few weeks from now, Timur may have had no need of a doctor, but as it stands, I have been thrust into an unfamiliar scenario with scant time to prepare. Despite my unpleasant circumstances, this whole affair is rather intriguing. I never considered the possibility of new generations being born on the Ark. Yet clearly, it was inevitable. Like any common animal, humans have the urge to procreate. How else could the species endure? Okay, well, we made it back to base today. I think we, you know, it's pretty productive. Um, but we're going to call it there for today. Tomorrow, who knows what we'll do. But I appreciate everybody watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow.